What I'm going to show you today is probably one of the commonest rigs out and that's float fish dead baits. But I use a, a few different little things um, and little items of tattle from the Pike Pro range. Absolutely super method, the float fished dead bait. And I'm going to tell you how it's set up. First of all, we put some stops on the line, rubber stops on the line, so that the float goes up to them, a bead up to that, the float, there's the pencil float, another bead that stops it locking onto the swivel. I've got an up trace, which is quite common in all pike fishing. I've got a, a free running lead that's going to go onto the, onto the bottom. That's just covering the trace. Let me just put that back. So that's free running. That's a, a fledger, a Pike Pro fledger. And what that does is pops the bait, pops the line up actually, so that when the lead goes in, we've still got that line sticking up from the silt, etc. that's gonna make it free running. Then I've got a boom to stop tangling. It separates the, the lead to the bait. And then I've got the trace at the bottom. Now, a lot of people will have just a trace at the bottom like so, like so, with a short trace, so the bait is actually very, very close to the braid going up to the float. I like to have a long distance, look at the distance there, from, it's gonna be from, sorry, it's gonna be from there to there. Look at that for the distance. And I like that because when a fish comes, he's nowhere near the braid that's running up to the float. So it's quite a long trace, especially for the rig. I like a long trace like that. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set it up. That lead will hit the bottom and if the depth isn't right, it'll pull the float under. So I just need to pull it up a bit further till the float starts to cock, then that's exact depth. So let's just sling it out and see what happens. So let's just see if we're on depth, how it goes float went under you see so that looked about six inches just under the water so what I'm going to do now is obviously put another six inches onto those uh, onto there so let's just put it up there we go that should do it just perfect now Not quite. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. So now the float's set at the depth. Everything's sock on. All we need to do now is put the bait on. And what I'm going to do is use one of our Maxi smelts. Absolute super bait. I really rate these. And we're going to hook it up. Two hook rig. Basic snap tattle. But remember that bit longer so I can get it away from the braid. The flags show where the Barbies on the semi barbless hooks into the root of the tail. That's a good, good holding spot. That's there, like so. The other flag showing the barb down the flank, like so. There we go. If that's a big pike, if that's a big pike, he's going to put those two hooks in his mouth. So that's it. Ready to go in. We've got the float set to the depth. We got the bait hooked up. Let's see if we can catch a pike. Gonna cast into the spot. The most important thing, like any time when you're piking, I want that lead landing separate to that bait, right? I don't want it going down in one heap. Might be tangled. If you're gonna wait there a couple of hours, you wanna make sure that everything's right. Everything's separated so it can run. You can get a nice take. It's not gotta straighten any tangles out. Let's put it out. And if fishing fairly in close, there you go. Look at them separated, lovely. So having cast the bait out, I'm not gonna reel in too much because it'll sink the float. I can visually see the float, but also it's gonna indicate a, a run. There we go. And then I'm gonna put it into the bobbin. 
like so. There you go. There we go. When I get it, I'm going to open the bay arm like so. Lovely. When I get a take, all that's going to happen is that's going to pull like so. Okay. And you'll see the bobbin come off like so. Look, boom, away you go. And you're going to get a take. Bobbin comes off. The float's gone under. Bingo, we got a big pike. Yeah, that's going nicely. Yep, that's going nicely. Yeah, that's going away nicely. Two hooks on the bait, you can eat that straight away, just like any other fish. Yep, yeah, here we go, I close it over. Check the clutch is set. Perfect, wind in, wind in, wind in, and yay, we're in. We're in. It's not a big fish, this, but it just shows the method works. Come on, my baby. Come on, my baby. Come on. That's oh, gone onto a twig there or something. I can feel it. Just on a twig, right in close. Just coming in front of us. Just get the net ready. There she is. There she blows. There she blows. Get into the net. Into the net. Come on, baby. In you go. Lovely. There we go. That shows the method, how it works. Well, let's take a look at this pike. It's not the biggest pike I've ever had in my life, but it's still a pike and it's a beauty. Well conditioned. You need to look after them at this weight because that could be your next 25 pounder or your next 30 pounder. It's a beautiful fish. Let's have a look down its flanks. Look at the camouflage. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. A beautiful fish. Look at the markings. Perfectly camouflaged to be a hunter. Perfectly shaped to be fast. Teeth at the front end. Wow, what a predator. That's the method. Shows the method works. We've only been here a couple of hours and we're having pike. Let's put it back. And now the perfect end. It's give us great sport. Excitement. Let's make sure he goes back safe. He's ready to go. Look, just drop the net and away you go.